Riot police clashed with protesters on Friday evening in Paris as a new demonstration took place against the government's plans to raise the French state pension age. The growing unrest, which has resulted in a wave of strikes since the start of the year and rubbish piling up on the streets of Paris, has left President Emmanuel Macron with the gravest challenge to his authority since the so-called Gilets Johns or Yellow Vest protests of December 2018. Friday's night trouble he followed similar disorder on Thursday, after Macron decided to push through the contested pension overhaul without a parliamentary vote. The overhaul raises France's state pension age by two years to 64, which the government says is essential to ensure the system does not go bust. But, the bad news for him is unions, and most voters, disagree. The French are deeply attached to keeping the official retirement age at 62, which is among the lowest in OECD countries. More than 8 out of 10 people are unhappy with the government's decision to skip a vote in parliament, and 65% want strikes and protests to continue. Going ahead without a vote is a denial of democracy, a total denial of what has been happening in the streets for several weeks, says by psychologist Natalie Alquier. A broad alliance of France's main unions said they would continue their mobilization to try and force a U-turn on the changes. Protests are planned for this week. What do you guys thinking? Drop your comment below.